Hello, we are live for the Raw review on my channel of all things wrestling because I can't stream, so content on here for the moment will be reviews that might become live in the future. So keep an eye out for that. But I'm joined as always by Dave from Crash Room Productions. How you doing, man? I'm all right. Thanks. Yeah, I'm glad to have you here. And KK416. Yes, sir. And as you can see in the background, both are represented by their logos, which is now the new way we are having this, which is pretty cool. Yep. Uh, but yes, uh, this roll wasn't that bad. No, decent. What did you think of the, the overall roll? It was better than previous weeks, but still... I didn't find it anything over the top. Yeah. yeah. It seems like they're, you know, building up for Elimination Chamber already, so that's good. I, I already have a problem with with how they've done that. Yeah, but let, let's get into yeah. the segment. Cause the first segment is literally that. Adam Pearce brings out Shane McMahon to talk about the Elimination Chamber, which they announced all the participants of the Elimination Chamber. Yep, it was just a great big announcement. Instead of doing potential qualifying matches, which would actually serve a purpose and maybe even be entertaining, they just squashed that whole idea and just announced five wrestlers who are going to be going up against Drew McIntyre. So, I like the wrestlers Drew, they picked. So Drew will defend the title inside Elimination Chamber against former world champions Sheamus, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, The Miz, and AJ Styles. Yeah, all of them are former world champions. Yeah, this is a fact. Which is a very interesting fact. Probably yeah. Drew McIntyre's biggest challenge yet, too. Uh, as champion currently, yes, I would have to say so. Uh, but yeah, overall, the opening of Raw wasn't the greatest. But, you know, what are you going to do? It was an opening. Yeah. We ended up getting AJ versus Jeff Hardy with uh, obviously AJ bodyguard saw Chain, so there was a reuniting moment. That was nice. Yeah, good old TNA moment seeing Jeff and AJ in the same ring. Yeah, match was all right. AJ got Hardy to tap out with the um, calf crusher. Made Jeff Hardy look like a, a wimp, really. Yeah, I'm just done with Jeff at this point. I already just think he needs to retire. Yeah, yeah. AJ picked up the win. Or uh, or seek or seeks uh, something new and brighter horizons. Yeah. Or be like a young Undertaker and just play some mind games. Stay out of the ring, do some mind games. Yeah, he's Willow character. That'd be interesting. Doesn't TNA own that or no? Uh, okay. Um, Brother Nero. I think or the, the... Brother Jeff. I don't know. Just give it a new name. Yeah. Uh, then we see Ric Flair make his way to the ring. Charlotte then makes her way to the ring and Lacey and Charlotte have a conversation and then they have a match. Lacey Evans wins by disqualification because ref Charlotte hit the referee for some reason. Which does earn her a shot uh, at the Raw Women's Championship at Elimination Chamber. So it's going to be Lacey versus Oscar for Elimination Chamber. Charlotte's going to cost Lacey. Yeah. I would think so. But let's save shit like that for predictions. Definitely, definitely. We shouldn't be getting into that. Overall, the match was alright. I did, literally do not remember this match at all. I don't remember it either. M me either, really. Yeah, it was quite forgettable, I'm going to guess. Then Edge had a promo with Miz Morrison and Angel Garza for some reason. Yeah, that was a weird segment. Yeah. I couldn't hear most of, the, of that because chat was quite uh, rambunctious this evening. Yes, I taught you how to turn Brad down and uh, other people so it can be more manageable. Yeah. Yeah. I do that all the time. I fuck around with uh, volume levels all the time. 
Uh, then we got Damien Priest with Bad Bunny for some fucking reason. That guy needs to stick around. I don't know why. Uh, facing the edge against Angel Garza and Damien Priest won. Good job for him. Yep. They need to bring back the actual bunny back and to headlight WrestleMania. That would be funny. Bring back the actual bunny, not this bad bunny. Yeah. But like, yeah, Edge and Miz going back and forth was like, I kind of liked it, you know, it was a good thing. Edge also said uh, uh, he was going to make his uh, decision after Elimination Chamber. Something like that. Okay. I just hate when WWE drag these out. Just tell us who he's facing at Mania. We don't need to drag the story on for 14 bloody weeks. Just for him to I tell us the answer uh, we already know. Yeah, he's going to make the decision after the seeing the Elimination Chamber outcome. Just tell us now. We already know it's going to be Roman. Yeah. All right. We know it's going to be Roman because Roman's being better booked. And it's going to be Spear versus Spear. Yeah, that's the main reason why I say it. And like Drew didn't call out Edge. Uh, Finn didn't call out Edge. Roman you got right to the point. Yeah. Uh, then we have Matt Riddle yeah. versus Keith Lee. Keith Lee wins the match. And I believe he's getting a title shot to, for the U.S. Championship soon. Yeah, triple threat match with him and uh, him, uh, Keith Lee, Riddle, and Bobby Lashley. Ah, oh yeah, because Lashley beat the shit out of both of them after the match. Yep. So triple threat match at Elimination Chamber for the United States Championship. It was a good match. I'm I'm all for Lashley and Keith Lee. Uh, I couldn't believe how Bobby Lashley manhandled Lee. Yeah. Bobby Lashley is a freakishly strong human. I want to see Keith Lee with the gold. Me too. But but I do want to see like like if uh you know if we do end up seeing Lashley with the title, Lesnar versus Lashley Mania. This has been oh, everyone's been asking for this shit for so long. Hmm. We might not like Lesnar, but that would be a good match to see. Yeah, it would be. We then go to Nia Jax versus Lana in a tables match. Lana wins. And then Shayna attacks Lana. Naomi attacks Shayna, leading to Naomi versus Shayna. And Naomi wins. So the faces win tonight. Good for them. Yeah, the I have zero, uh, I'm sorry. I have zero investment in that anything of the women's division right now. It's just so boring to watch. I agree. It was funny commentary during the match because, like, I swear, uh, what's it called? Lana, she said, King Kong ain't got shit on me or something like that. And then I heard Naya say, oh, my hole, when she went through that freaking table. Yeah, she was, uh, she when she dropped on her, uh, on the apron, she got up and said, oh, my hole. Yeah. <sighs> We then go to our main event, Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton in a non-title match because we've never seen this match before. For some reason, Sheamus came out and the referee didn't boot him out of the arena. Yeah. Surely the referee should have kicked him out immediately. Sheamus with a bro kicked Orton, so Randy Orton won by disqualification. Yeah, that was kind of of stupid. uh... You know, getting Sheamus involved. Like, that main event stands literally for one thing, and that's to promote the Elimination Chamber. Yeah, and then... And I have a problem with the... Play more to Sheamus afterwards. I, I, still say, I still say it builds forward momentum towards Elimination Chamber, because now you've got, Shame, you've got Sheamus versus Randy Orton, because he just bro- he broke it to the fucking hell out of Randy. I have a problem Whether- with the- at the main at the main events, like for me, they didn't keep momentum from last week's Raw. Only thing I enjoyed is like the announcement at the start. 
Yeah. The announcement at the start sucked because they basically said, nope, we're not doing qualification matches, which is half of what you look forward to when it comes to Elimination Chamber. Or money in the bank or anything to do with like these big matches. It's always, yeah. Who's going to have the good qualifying matches? This is a reminder why SmackDown will always be the A show. Yeah, SmackDown's always been better. Yeah. Overall, my my rating for this is five out of ten. I'm gonna agree with you. It's literally just an average episode of Raw. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna third that. I give it a five out of ten. If I feel like being generous, five point two five. Nothing more than that. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna stick with a five. With a five. Yeah. Yeah. I generally can't say that I enjoyed it more than an average episode. Yeah, that's what we depend on SmackDown. Yeah, what do you think, Dave? Did you agree with five? Yeah, I already said that. Ah. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's our review. Uh, make sure you check out Dave at Crackstream Productions. The link is in the description below. Uh, yeah, he does similar content, gaming, wrestling reactions, he does his own music. Uh, he does a wide variety of content, pretty decent content, so I'll definitely check him out. Uh, let's get him to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. It's up to my new uh, backup channel at the moment, while I can't live stream. Uh, links in the description as well. Uh, and, well, I'm hopefully it is. And we'll catch you all later. Peace out, guys. Peace. Bye.